Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. And today our topic is the, what are the components of the bridge or flyover. Alright, so we are going to discuss the important components involved in the construction of bridge or flyover. I'm writing the uh, components here and we'll discuss with the uh, image here. I will draw the picture here and with labeling and I will name it here, right? So the first and important component of the uh, bridge is the pile. We do the piling in bridge or flyover. It's the most important and expensive part of this construction of bridges or flyover. And I draw it here. These are the piles we do first in the investigation of the soil, and then we do the pile according to the uh, according to the structure of the bridge. Then we did pile either we will do the you know, building pile or the friction piles, right? So after the piles, we uh, we the second component in one the bridge is pile cap. There is a concrete cap involved here, and about the and about the a pile, right? I'm drawing it in three D. This is the pile cap, right? This hole is the pile cap. So this one is the pile. This is also the pile. And this is the pile cap. Uh, above the pile, right? This is the pile cap. Uh, cap means the box. Uh, if the box above the pile, we call it the pile cap. Uh, and it distributed the load into the uh, different piles, right? And uh, number the third one is the pier, right? Or we sometimes call column, but the pure is the most logical term used here. We call it the pure. It may be circular, it may be rectangle, but we call it the pure. And it's a compression member, behave as a column, uh, it's an ordinary structure. So then we place the pure member, right? After the pure, we uh, make the number number, pure shaft, or we can see the transom. We can see the transom, right? The most used uh, word we call it the transom, right? And it may be of any shape, depends on the uh, designer what type of uh, transom he provides, a tri triangular trapezoid or whatever he wants to design. So the other part will be the, the fourth part will be the transom, right? This is the transom. So now this is the load distribution part. The transom transfer the load for to the pier, pier to the pile cap, pile cap to the pile, and from the pile there's a soil, and the whole load is distributed to the soil if they lost, right? So this is not the end of the structure of the bridges. So after the transom, there is another important part uh, we call concrete pad, right? Concrete pad, uh, pad, and. And after the transom there we uh, put some reinforcement at the top of the transom here in both direction and we call this is the concrete pad right concrete this is a concrete pad we made a very small dimension box we made is also called concrete pad and after the concrete pad we put the bearing pad bearing pad uh, the building pad is placed after the concrete pad, a small box similarly, uh, we call the bearing pad, right? And it's very important to place because we, we have to place the gutter run above the bearing plate. After the bearing plate, we put the most important and most expensive element of the bridge, we call it the gutter, right? So we place the gutter and above the, uh, this, uh, uh, building pad and concrete play we place the girder depending on the type what type of girder it is it may be a rectangular it may be a, uh, a trapezoid or u shape a box girder any type but this is girder in both the direction right so we place the girder this is the most important uh, these are the most expensive two elements right pile and the girder most expensive elements in the uh, whole construction of bridge or flyover so after the bearing pairing concrete pad we place the girder and after the girder we place the slab reinforcement, right? And we put the slab on about the girder, right? This is slab and, and similarly in this way this is a slab. 
So we call it slab. You put the slab reinforcement in the concrete in the slab. So we get the slab. And above the slab, we get the road pavement. Road pavement, right? Road pavement. So we put the pavement on the top of the slab and make it the uh, make it the surface so that the cars or trucks or any type of vehicle for which it is made they can move on the tip of the, on the top of the road right so the road element pavement is the last one and it's very important because it's the last one on which the traffic will move on this part of the bridge so first is the pile we discuss is a pile the second one is a pile cap we discuss is a concrete pad about the pile then we discuss the pure the column type and then the transom we discuss is it maybe a finny type in the concrete bed and there is a bearing bed and then girder then the slab and after the slab we put the road pavement so this is the whole scenario of the bridge how the bridge is constructed and what are the main components involved in the construction of bridge uh, so the load transfer method is like the the road uh, the load coming from the vehicle traffic coming to the slab slab transfer the load to the girder girder to the uh, concrete pad and these two pads they you know, take the whole load and these uh, to these pads the load is transferred to the transom and transom is responsible for taking the whole load of this traffic and transom distribute the load to the pier and pier take the distribute the load to the uh, pile cap and pile cap distribute the load to the two or maybe of any number of piles depends on the construction designer uh, distribute the load to the piles and pile distribute the load to the side and which the pier keep piece of side right so this was the whole scenario of bridge construction of flyover bridge what are the components involved and so this was all about the bridge and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates right please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching our video